Hello and welcome to Graphic Online's News in Brief. In the headlines, NDC to recompose party leadership in Parliament. Mark Brown testifies against Bulldog and submits to court the video showing how President Akufuado was threatened on United Showbiz program. Okujetua Blaka resigns from Appointments Committee of Parliament and President Akufuado tax new finance minister to put the economy back on track. Our news in brief is brought to you by Download your Graphic News Plus now and choose your preferred package daily, weekly, monthly and annually and access free news on various interest areas as well. Graphic News Plus, connecting people through news. And now, the news in brief. The General Secretary of the Opposition National Democratic Congress, Mr. Johnson Esiedu Nketiah has hinted that the party intends to recompose its leadership in Parliament. He said that is expected to be completed after the Easter break to help strengthen the front of the party in Parliament. He was speaking in a television interview with City TV. After every election, we reconstitute the leadership of Parliament, even if it means to uh, reconfirm them. We haven't done that yet because of the court case. And so we started, but we got to a point where we felt that let us finish with the court case and we'll come back to it. But, you know, when you have a situation where some people think that, oh, these people are not permanent, they themselves, they don't have the confidence to act the way they should be acting. And then there are other aspirants who want to occupy their position. They may also be acting in ways to upstage or undermine them when they so know that to, the, the opportunity things up. exists. How soon should we see so this? we will look at it and then we will firm it. I'm sure by the time they return from the break, we would have uh, okay. taken this decision. Following the parliamentary approval of all 46 ministerial nominees by President Akufuado in his second term, the minority in parliament has come under a public verbal attack by some members of the NDC. The minority has been accused of not scrutinizing the nominees enough and rejecting their nominations, contrary to what they had publicly declared about the said nominees. This has resulted in a number of reactions, including the resignation of Samuel Okujetua Blakwa from the Appointments Committee of Parliament. The Member of Parliament for Norton, Mr. Samuel Okujetua Blakwa, in his resignation letter dated March 30, 2021, an address to the Speaker of Parliament said he would want to discontinue his membership of the Appointment Committee. After days of careful reflection and thoughtful considerations, a copy of the letter seen by Graphic Online reads, This is to formally convey my decision to discontinue my membership of the Appointment Committee. After days of careful reflection and thoughtful consideration, he stated. In the letter, Mr. Ablakwa explained that the reason for the decision to step down had been a difficult one, stopping short to shed light on what might have informed his decision. I shall like to state that the reason for this is difficult and that the decision is both personal and on principle. Respectfully, my resignation is with immediate effect and therefore I shall not be available for the vetting of the nominees for deputy ministerial positions, the letter read. Meanwhile, the minority leader in parliament, Mr. Haruna Idrisu, has disagreed with suggestions that what was happening was a sign that the minority was in crisis. The parliamentary organ led by me currently will do what is needful to work in tandem with the party to hold the Naakufuadu Na government accountable and to lead the party to victory in 2024. Or whatever storm it is, we we'll weather it. I'm fully in charge. I'm minority leader this morning. I've just engaged with the party leadership and council of Bell. There's no further comment on someone resigning or not. Nanama Jumai McBrown, the hostess of United Showbiz program aired on UTV, was in court today to testify against Lawrence Nanai Siama Hansen, also known as Bulldog. Bulldog has been accused of threatening President Akufuado. In court on Wednesday morning, the witness statement of Mark Brown and a video showing Bulldog allegedly threatening the president were adopted as evidence in chief of Mark Brown. 
The video was tendered in by the prosecution through Mac Brown when she mounted the witness box to testify against Bulldog. Mac Brown was cross-examined by the counsel for Bulldog, Mr. Jerry Avonogbo, after the video in which the infraction of law occurred had been played in an open court. Bulldog, an artist manager, is facing the court for allegedly saying on TV program that President Ekufuad would not finish his four-year term if he failed to pay customers of an alleged Ponzi scheme by men's good. And to our last story, President Akufuado on Tuesday night swore Mr. Kenoforiata into office as the Minister of Finance and taxed him to work to get the economy back on track. I, I having been appointed Minister of State, do in the name of the Almighty God swear that I will at all times well and truly serve the Republic of Ghana, so help me God. And I'm sure you know that the Ghanaian people are expecting you to put the economy on a sound footing once again and help lead it out of the ravages of the pandemic. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again with another edition. Stay safe and protect yourself from COVID-19. For more news, visit graphic.com.gh or log on to Facebook at Daily Graphic Ghana and on YouTube at GraphicGH. I am Enoch Dafa Frimpong. Subscribe now.